It seems that Western Australian police have dropped the ball on more than one occasion in the Gerard Ross murder investigation. After watching the eight-part documentary series, The Boy in the Blue Cap, emergency nurse Annette Fraser has come forward with information she gave to police over two decades ago. The clinical nurse was working at the Fremantle Hospital Emergency Department when a Caucasian man in his 30s, who had downed a box of Tegretol, woke from an unconscious state and allegedly told her that he knew who killed the 11-year-old boy, Gerard Ross. Gerard vanished during a family holiday at Rockingham, south of Perth, in October 1997. His body was found in the Carnup Pine Plantation, 20 kilometres away, two weeks later. Miss Fraser said during one of her night shifts, which she worked every Thursday evening through to Monday morning, a patient confessed to knowledge of what happened to Gerard. It was the early hours of the morning, she said. This chap just sat bolt upright and said, I know who did it. I asked him what he was talking about, and he said, I know who hurt that little boy. The patient told her that he had been drinking with two men at Quinana the night before he was admitted to hospital. He said they had boasted about abducting the 11-year-old in the years prior. He said, I was drinking with the two guys who said they heard that little boy. Frager said, I had my pen in my pocket, so I wrote all of this information down on my hand, including his name, date of birth, and all of the information that he could give me. She immediately informed a police officer who was at the emergency department for a separate matter. But rather than interview the patient himself, he asked the nurse to write it down on a piece of paper so he could pass it on. Miss Fraser also made a copy of the notes for herself, which she kept in a drawer at home in anticipation of being contacted by police. The patient didn't give me the men's names, she said. He just said they lived at Quinana. Years later, Miss Fraser called Crime Stoppers to check her information had been passed on. The call centre operator said that crime has been solved. So she disposed of the information with great distress. She said, I later heard the call centre operator had it mixed up with another case. In January 2017, after WA Police launched a new public appeal for information, Miss Fraser called Crime Stoppers again. A detective from the Cold Case Homicide Squad finally made contact. Special Crime Division boss, Detective Superintendent Rod Wild, last week said his team had unsuccessfully attempted to identify the patient in 2017, but were now reinvestigating. He said, I know at the time, 2017, they retrieved all of the hospital records from that period, but they didn't correlate. At this point, we haven't been able to identify the individual, but we're reinvestigating and we'll go over it all again. Click here if you'd like to watch Gerard's story.